Right. Ex defense minister from Canada speaks out about speaks uh, speaks about. See, now this is no, once again not my fault. This person writes, ex defense minister from Canada speaks about out about aliens. Out about aliens, or speaks out about aliens, or does he speak about out about aliens? See what I'm saying? This isn't always me. All right. Bill, love the podcast. Free laughs every week. Uh, They're much appreciated. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, I thought you might like this link as you're a big conspiracy theory. A big conspiracy theorist, you mean? He said it's the former Canadian defense administrator. No, Canadian defense minister giving some bold claims about several species of aliens living among us and actually working with elements in the government. Uh, Not only that, but a shadowy cabal, C-A-B-A-L, cabal, I don't know, comprised of the Council on Foreign Relations, the Bilderbergers, the Trilateral Commission. That should add a hyphen in it, you cunt. The International Banking Cartel, uh, the oil cartels, members of various intelligence organizations, the select members of the military, one world government, check it out. Sir, the last thing I'm going to do is look at this. I'll put the link up there. Ah, fuck it. I'll look at it right now. This shit just freaks me out and makes me depressed because there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, now how is this going to help me, sir, if I find out there's actually aliens living among us talking to international bankers? You know? Am I going to come walking in, bursting into their meeting like the end of a feel-good movie? You know? Like, hey, man. The people have spoken, and they like me. All right, here we go. I, I got it right here. Uh, Canada's former Minister of National Defense, Paul Haler, testifies at the Citizens Hearing on Disclosure. Where the fuck am I? Last month in Washington, D.C., that aliens are living among us and that it is likely at least two of them are working with the U.S. government. Oh, this guy sounds like he's out of his fucking mind. Uh, let's 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 kind of flip the script here. Let's say you're an alien. All right, whoever's listening to this still who believes in aliens, who isn't blogging about my reaction to the blogger, um, and you go to you go to another fucking solar system, another galaxy, whatever the fucking terminology is, and you land there. Okay, what are you gonna do? Other than try and get blended in, blend in so people don't chop your fucking alien head off. Like, how exactly did this fucking alien get infiltrate the government? This is like Mr. Smith goes to Washington. The alien just lands and just goes, okay. Uh, right. I mean, how come he didn't do this in Argentina? He picks the United States, goes right into fucking Washington, D.C., Walks into the Capitol building as somebody's filibustering so they can't make an electric car or whatever. Comes right out on the House floor and then does what? You know, security comes up, tries to shoot him, and he just puts his hands up and their guns turn into like chocolate bars or fall to the ground. And then for some reason, everybody in their suits doesn't scramble and freak the fuck out. You know? No, it, it, you just fucking walk out there and say, hey, what's going on? Relax, relax, relax. It's a simple technology that you guys will discover if you become friends with me. How to turn a fucking gun into some melted shit that uh, doesn't let people shoot you. I am from the planet Zoltar, right? <laughs> it always begins with a Z. How, how does that work? Like if you were a fucking alien and you went to another goddamn planet, exactly... I guess, okay, you'd be like, all right, if there's a bunch of different nations, which one seems to be running shit? I got to chop the head off. And you're just going to walk, you and you and a buddy, two of you, going to walk in fucking arm in arm and do what? Yeah, hey, listen, uh, I think just the simple fact that we're, we were able to get here, you know the kind of f- firepower that we're capable of. Uh, for some fucking reason, we want to take over this planet. Or we want you guys to do shit the way we feel that th- it should be done. Who-, who would want that fucking headache? 
I, I, don't, I don't know that I believe this shit. Anyways, he believes... What, Hellier, whose beliefs on extra life, extraterrestrial life and USO, UFOs are well-established, made the statements at the non-governmental hearings chaired by six former U.S. Con- congressmen and aimed at, according to the event's website, doing what the U.S. Congress had failed to do for 45 years, seek out the facts surrounding the most important issue of this or any other time, evidence pointing towards an extraterrestrial presence engaging the human race. All right, you know what? Even I have my limits when it comes to that type of shit. All right? I don't think that's the most pressing thing. I would say uh, us fucking up the environment, world population, and that type of shit, shit It's a little more... Unless you want to throw more people from other galaxies also living here. Do, do they drink bottled water too? <laughs> All right, here we go, people. E-voice. All right, e-voice is the reason why you're going to make more money in 2013. When your customers call, you'll have your own toll-free number. Professional greeting, dial by number, name, directory, and more. You'll sound like a Fortune 5 company, even though you're still in your cubicle, and blow away your competitors. Evoice lets you give out one number that rings wherever you are. The beach, the bar, doesn't matter. You'll sound like you're at the office. You got to go to evoice.com and use the promo code Bill. Evoice even takes all your voicemails, transcribes them, and sends them to you instantly as a text or an email. So you can check voicemails before the meeting ends and not look rude. Evoice is only 10 bucks a month. Right now, listening to my podcast, you can get a free trial of Evoice for 30 days. Stop what you're doing. Hit pause. Stop listening to this podcast right now. Set up your Evoice free trial and uh, see what I'm talking about. It's a great way to support my podcast and an easy way to make more money this year. Go to evoice.com, promo code Bill. That's evoice.com, promo code Bill. Or just go to the podcast page on billbird.com and click on the Evoice banner right now. Okay, the man great system, everybody. This Father's Day. Think the man great. What is the man great, you ask? They are 100% made in America. Cast iron grilling grates that are revolutionizing the way people grill. Heavy-duty grilling grates deliver exactly what you need to achieve that perfect steakhouse flavor. Chicken steak or veggies will never have tasted so good. No more flare-ups. No more dry meat. Guaranteed. Named one of 2012's best grilling accessories by Men's Health Magazine. Man grates are the... The perfect gift for dad this Father's Day. How do you get them? Well, you go to mangrate.com and enter the coupon code BURR, B-U-R-R, for their 1999 Father's Day special, or click the Mangrate banner on the, on the show website. Sorry. 100% made in America, cast iron, 100% steakhouse quality grilling in your backyard. Remember, each Monday morning podcast order comes with a heavy-duty grilling brush. Again, that's the Mangrate Grill Enhancement System. Order today, mangrate.com. Mangrate.com and enter the coupon code BURR at the checkout. And last but certainly not least, LegalZoom. America was built by innovators and dreamers. People like Nikola Tesla, Preston Tucker, and Thomas Crapper. (laughs) But it's the inventors and entrepreneurs all around us. People like you that make America such a great country. This month, LegalZoom.com celebrates innovators, inventions, and people who want to get out of their jobs by helping you launch your own dream. Apply for a patent to, to secure your invention. Hang in there, Bill. You can do it. Uh, register your trademark to protect your product and services. Incorporate or form an LLC and launch your business dream. Just call or visit LegalZoom.com, and they'll take care of you from start to finish. They've already helped about a million businesses get started right. Celebrate innovations with LegalZoom, and for a limited time, get a special price on trademark copyright, and patent applications by using the referral code BURR, B-U-R-R, at checkout. Protect your creations and launch your dream at LegalZoom.com. LegalZoom can provide self-help services at your specific direction, or they can connect you to an attorney, uh, but they're not a law firm. Don't forget to use that referral code BURR, B-U-R-R. All right, there you go. Here we are winding down the final minutes of the podcast. Let me close this right here. I don't want to save that. Oh, fuck. This happens every goddamn week. All right, here we go. Next letter. This letter is about an older lady. Um, I'm a 29-year-old guy. And for the last two years, I have been seeing an incred- incredibly amazing woman that is 13 years older than me. And you know what? It's not going to work out, sir. Because you're 29 and she's fucking 42. 
you know, that doesn't seem to work out. Women can do that. For some reason, they can do it. You know, didn't you learn anything with Ashton Kutcher? It ain't going to happen. You know, when you're 37, she's going to be 50. Come on. 37, you can still pull a 27-year-old. You're coming home to her, right? She's starting to get hot flashes. She's taking Geritol. I mean, it's it's not going to work. I'm sorry. Let me continue. She's sexy, fun, and we share a lot of common interests. We talked about what direction our relationship was going to take very early on, and we decided that keeping it casual was the way to go. Smart move. Smart move. Now, what does taking it casual mean? That means I fuck you once every six weeks in my birthday. My birthday. In my... my <laughs> why did I say birthday? In my book. You know what it is? It's my birthday, and I want to get on with it. I want to go drive out to the desert. That's what it was. Uh, we didn't commit to each other in any official sense, but neither of us saw anyone else. Well, Jesus Christ, now you're going to catch feelings for her. Over the two years, I fell in love with her. There you go, and wanted to commit so we could make a real go of it. I fucked up, though. I never confessed those feelings to her. I was afraid of things eventually hitting a wall because of the age difference, so I felt safer not telling her. She recently told me she has wanted the same things I do this whole time, but she has now met someone closer to her own age, promising the real relationship I never gave her. I believe she has feelings for me, but thinks this is the best choice for her. What do I do? Do I stand up and fight for what I want? Consequences be damned, or should I let her go and accept that age difference is an insurmountable problem? On a side note, I've been in many relationships. I know myself well enough to know the difference between love and infatuation. Well, then if you know the difference, I would go for what you want. Okay? As an outsider, I would say let her go. Um, And even though you know the difference between love and infatuation, do you want to have a family, sir? You know, because if you do, you need to marry this girl in a week and start pumping out the fucking kids because she's already 42. Are you ready to do that? Because if you're not, you got to let her go. All right? That's all I got to say.